Some say that this is the strangest personnel file at the Travelers. Hired as an extra in a national television commercial starring Gregory Peck, this pigeon and several associates left their collective marks on the corporate scene. Of course, they weren't full-fledged employees, just itinerant freelancers of the fly-by-night variety. In a company that has hired everything from a political cartoonist to a mystery novelist, perhaps no one particular job description would seem outlandish. Though the formal job description had not been instituted in 1925, when this particular job opened up, here's how it might have sounded. Applicant must have an excellent sense of rhythm and timing must read and transcribe musical tablature, must be willing to work on scales, and be familiar with the 88 key tenets of the job as illustrated here in black and white. The job was, of course, for a full-time pianist. Laura Gaudet filled the spot. Later that year, we hired a string quartet, and all that was child's play when you consider in 1926, we had on staff full-time, a 38-piece orchestra complete with a harpist and a man who could make thunderous rolls on the timpani. But there was good reason to have an orchestra on staff at an insurance company, because in a bold experiment championed by Travelers Vice President Walter G. Cowles, the Travelers Insurance Company was owner and operator of one of the country's pioneering radio stations which bore the company's initials, WTIC. How do you do from Hartford Town, the studios of WTIC? Travelers watched WTIC grow from an influential radio station to a broadcast giant as it moved into FM broadcast and later television. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have just had the honor and privilege of signing on the air for the first time Connecticut's newest television station, WTIC-TV, on channel three. My name is Ranger Andy, and I've traveled all around. And I am writing you a song about the things I've found. I'll sing about the mysteries of animals galore, and hope to tell you many things you never knew before. Come along. But by the late 60s, long after the full-time orchestra had become a thing of the past, the Travelers decided to divest its remaining interest in WTIC radio and television and be done with the likes of oboists, disc jockeys, game show hosts, and uh, <clears throat> actors. I'm simply an outside contractor. This is John McDonough with more food for thought.